have a question. Adam. We want to pause recording to get this ready. Whatever. Let's check and see. Um, somebody's going to check what headphones, I think. Any questions so far? Uh, I have you told uh, that uh, just uh, just I would like to know. connect it to so the wise man the yeah, coming of the wise man to her mm -hmm. as you hope we know that uh, a year and a half later he died Harry died he uh, where did you say that I'm, like where do we know about uh, this this event that he died after a year and a half is there is there also any other place where it says about wise men coming to Herod? Yes. Extra biblical source. We're, we're combining two things. Um, the the Roman historians um, kept records of when rulers died. Especially with Herod, we the Roman sources are more accurate. Because they document he died and his sons began to rule. And so the Roman historians kept, they used their Roman calendar, which we convert into our modern calendar. And, and multiple ancient Roman documents show that Herod died in, in 4 BC and his sons, his four sons, began to rule in 4 BC. So, so we're, we're starting with the Roman sources saying when he died. And then logically we go back and, and say the wise men did not talk to a dead man. So they couldn't have talked to him any later than 4 BC because he was still alive. As in can chores Pavakanits had to change Karakosa, whatever in Kapiti can't Hanilina. But the biblical account shows that he probably died not long after they had been there. So we start with he died in 4 BC. Since he was still alive, they talked to him in either 5 or 4 BC. He, he, we know he killed all the babies up to 2 years old. So we know they had told him that they saw this star not more than two years before. Now, Herod was radical enough. They may, may have told him, we saw the star, star a year and a half ago. And just to make sure he killed the baby king Herod may have added six months yeah, but if we if we just say okay before he died we had two years going back so probably six I Somewhere between five and seven. Um, the, the big dates that we know for sure, we know um, when Herod died. And we know when the temple was destroyed. Those are... Uh, we can go to ancient Roman sources. We can go to ancient Jewish sources. They will talk about the Roman sources. So, for example, 
or Tajara Yotana Suntwin or Sanga. And our other dates that we calculate have to be calculated based upon those dates that we know for sure. Omanats uh I'm sat wherever but cash when Sarabra him novello pet cash, but and some others when it comes to like the, like the life of Peter and Paul. We calculate those based on the rulers that are mentioned relating to Paul for the most part. Plus we add some elements in church history. Okay, on your next slide on 45, <laughs> slide, uh, we, when you're talking about the synoptics, you have to deal with what is similar and what is different. Okay. When you look through them there, 58% of the verses in Matthew can be found in Mark and Luke. 93% of the information in Mark can be found in either Matthew or Luke. John has almost, has very little of the information that's found in Matthew, Mark, and Luke in his gospel. And the tradition in church history is that John, when he was old, wrote his gospel. Older. And by that time, Matthew, Mark, and Luke were already being circulated. And so basically, John said, What do we need to understand deeper? Under the leadership of the Holy Spirit, he wrote his gospel. So, as far as unique material, Mark has the least unique material yeah. of the three synoptics. And Luke has the most unique material. Look, Luke. Luke has. Of the three synoptic gods. Ah, the three synoptic gods are the ones who have the original information. Mark has the most. Mark has the most. And if we if we list the um, if we list all four gospels in terms of how much unique material is in them. Uh, we would list them Mark, Matthew, Luke, John. Marcos, Matevos, Lucas, Hovanes. Okay, does that make sense? Hasconalia. Now, that's not to say that one gospel is better than the other. Sachina Shenakum or Mia Vetaran and Musitsa Velila. Okay, you don't know some or drink Tarberen. Pragmatically. Practical end. If you're preaching from a text in Mark, Եթե դուք ձեզ դեք քարզում մարկոսից you're probably going to find that same event or teaching discussed in either Matthew or or Luke or both. Հավանականն պատմությունը կամ ուսումը կգտնենք Մարտեոսում կամ Կոկասում կամ երկուսում է։ If you're preaching on a passage in Matthew, եթե Մարտեոսից ինչ որ հատվածից եք քարզում, you've got a pretty good chance that Mark or Luke said something about that same thing. If you're preaching on something in Luke, uh, you might have something in Mark or Matthew, but you might If you come to John, and you probably are not going to find something about that passage in either in any of the first three. But if you do, and it's an event or a teaching that's found in all four Gospels, it's pretty important. Because God made sure that it was included in all four Gospels. Um, if you if you look on the on the next one, Matthew includes. Slider. Matthew's a lot of direct quotes of Jesus. 
հիսուսի հոսքերից, այսինք եմ հիսուսի ասասները ուղեղ կերպոր։ Հատավ մաթևոսում ունի իր մեջ շատ ուսություն։ Մարկ Մարկոսը չունի այդ կան ուղեղ մեջ պերում ներ Հիսուսից, որով հետև ավելի կիչ ուսություն կա է որ շատ կողործողություն։ Մատևոս ունի շատ կլուպներ, Մարկոս ամենը կարջնը բոլորից։ Մատևոս ամենը կարջնը բոլորից։ բայց դեմերեք ինչպաս տեստում եք մահաթևոսը ավելի շատ կլուխներ ունի կան հուկասը, բայց հուկասը ունի ավելի շատ հոսքեր, մի գլխի մեջ։ Այսինքն էջերի արումով, իր բովանդակության արումով հուկասը ամենը շատ տարածքն ես բաղ Gospel of the King. Այնչպես Վրետը նշեց մաթևոսը թակավորի ավետարն է, ենպես որ շատ ծիտումներ ունենք հինք տակարանից։ Հուկասն էլ նշում է հինք տակարանը, բայց չէ ոգտագործում այդ կան ուղեղ Մարկարայությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությ
Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John have at the beginning the gospel according to Matthew, the gospel according to Luke. The gospel Amenahin, Orinak Metaforuman Kesavetan, Neriskus Mumas, and Avetaran Estma Tevos, Avetaran Estma Kosius Kukasi. So the manuscripts from the earliest ones say Matthew was written by Matthew, Mark by Mark, Luke by Luke. So you can Amenahin Zaragana Asma, or Matevos, or Matevos Negre, Hokas, Hokas Yavespes. So people that want to doubt whether Matthew wrote Matthew, they have to ignore what the oldest manuscripts say. I think in Yete, Marty Kuzuman, Chelar Gil or Matos, Chi, Matos Yerina, but Amena Hin, uh, Amena Hin Zaragir, but in Bonnie Dachitina. And beginning with the late first century forward, uh, church tradition says Matthew wrote Matthew, Mark wrote Mark, Luke wrote Luke, John wrote John. If the Amena Skuzbun Hin Yakaratina, uh, when we talk about Matthew, um, external documents, other other documents, say that Matthew wrote it and as early as 125 AD. They, they, the witness mm -hmm. is as early as 125 AD. Yeah, uh, and you have some of the early church fathers. Church fathers are those that wrote in the second and third century. And some of the most influential ones all said Matthew is the author. As I mentioned yesterday, some of them will say he originally put his thoughts down in Aramaic and then translated it into Greek. But this Aramaic gospel is like Q. Nobody's ever found a copy. It's kind of like the Loch Ness monster. The monster in it, never mind. Do you have do you have a legend of a, of an animal here in Armenia that nobody's ever seen? That's like horse of sauce okay. So okay. in in England, it's a it's a dragon that lives in a lake. And they call him Loch. Like they call him Nessie. Nobody's ever seen it. In America, we have. Bigfoot. Uh -huh. vodka. He's like a man bear. Uh, Mart Archer. Nobody's ever seen. That's cute. Sakuna. That's the Aramaic. So, <laughs> They're nice theories, but nobody. Knows. It is interesting. Consistently throughout Matthew's Gospel, he refers to himself as the tax collector. Mark, Luke, and John do not remind us that Matthew was a tax collector. Marcos, Lucas, Yev, Hovanes, Cheni, Shets, Numen, Kan, Shot, Gor, Matabos, Harkava, Kenich, Ken, Matabos, Ink, Nahishas, Num. But it's almost as if Matthew never forgot where he was when Jesus found him. It's like Paul saying, I was the one that persecuted the church. I was that tax collector. But Jesus made me his apostle. It's also interesting. We see Matthew's past in this, um, in that he refers to money more than the other gospels do. Yeah, the Testament Matthew was the answer, and after that match, for Inca, Jesus met Paul in Marseille. Now, well, he said, "Can you say what I'm saying?" And uh, we know from the uh, biblical text, he was a tax collector. Man, you think asked what I was saying? She's wearing Inca Harka Habakir. He was Jewish, and he had a second name, which was. Yeah. Uh, since he was a tax collector, he had to have education. He had to read and write. 
کون ہے کہ آرتھل کے لیے مانا رومیاکن کا سوچ سے نام پر کیا اور زنا کر چھوڑنے رہنے because he was from galilee he probably grew up speaking aramaic khani bor galilee ait ser habana bar metsel sela khosera varameren because he dealt in the economic sphere with money he would have known greek khani bor the language of commerce san tasen het kapuner araftri het kapuner hunaren el kimana since he worked for the romans he probably had an elementary understanding of latin as well ev khani bor romiatsneri et rashpatum habanakan or latinerin inch or haskatsovotsun el kunena as a tax collector he had to think orderly որպես հարկահավակ պետք է հստակ մտածողություն ունենալ պետք է պահել արձանագրություններ so it's not surprising that the book of matthew has a lot of structure եւ զարմանալի չի որ մաթեվոսի ավետարանը ունի հստակ կառուցված ստրուկտուրա it's god's word written through a unique man որտեվ ամեն դեպքում աստծո խոսքն է բայց յուրահատուկ մարդու միջոցով գրված so god used his orderly structured mind to write an orderly structured gospel i think an աստված օկտագորցել է իր սենս հստակ ստրուկտուրա ունեցող միտքը որպեսի հստակ ստրուկտուրա ունեցող ավետարան գրի he lived in capernaum remember our three sections ապարնոյում մեր ապրում հիշում եք մեր երեկ գոտիները գալիլեան վերեն իսկ ապարնոյում է գալիլեայի ծովի մոտ հենց and he uh, when he he was actually at work by the sea of galilee when jesus found him նա իրականում աշխատում էր գալիլեայի ծովի մոտ երբ որ հիսուսը գտավ իր հետ we read matthew i mean Luke chapter 5 Ekartan Khukas 5:27-ից 29-ը We'll see what Luke says about Matthew's call. Տեսնեն Khukas-ը ինչ է ասում Մաթեվոսի կանչի մասին։ What was he doing when Jesus found him? Ինչ էր անում երբ որ Հիսուսը գտավ իրեն։ He was in booth. Okay, he was in booth. He was he was at work. Գոր գործի մեջ էր։ And he's working. Jesus noticed him, right? Հիսուսը նկատեց իրեն ասում է, չէ։ What do you think that means? Ինչ է, ինչ է կարծում, ինչ է դա նշանակում Հիսուսը նկատեց։ Is it just the look of there's a guy ուղղակի <laughs> 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 When Jesus calls all of these first disciples. We see the last step in a process. Jesus has been teaching around Capernaum for a while. This is probably not the first time Matthew has seen Jesus. Սա առաջին անգամ է չի երևի որ Մաթեոսը տեսնում է Հիսուսին։ Jesus did a lot of teaching by the sea of Galilee. Գալիլեայի ծովի մոտ Հիսուսը շատ ուսուցումներ է տվել։ So even as he's working Matthew has probably heard either while he's at work or he's heard Jesus teaching before the Այս ինքն կարող է գործի մեջ լինելով լսել Հիսուսին կամ ինչ որ կերպ լսել է Հիսուսին։ So when we take all the gospels together about the four fishermen Jesus has been teaching in that area then he says come follow me and they leave their nets and Նույն բանը չորս ձկնոցների հետ կապված Հիսուսին հավանական է որ շատ անգամ են լսել բայց հետո Հիսուսը կանչում է թողում են իրենց ուղղանները եւ գնում Then calling follow me Նույն բանը լստեղ նույն կանչն է հետևի ինձ And he leaves it all Եվ ինք թողում են ամեն բան He doesn't have a road back Ճանապարհ հետ գնալու ճանապարհ չունի You can't leave all that money Even if he gave it to his assistant he's not going to be able to just go back the next day and just you know took a vacation to I think can you chair karol genar hajortora matapokh ver aser lav arzakurt vertsretsi Also look at verse 29 20th poskin naek What's it say about this supper that Jesus did for uh that Matthew did to Jesus 
Ինչ է խոսում է սնթրիքի մասին, որ մաթերոսը կազմ է կերպել էր Հիսուսի համար։ Ինչ տիպի տունա պետք մեծ խնջույք կաց կազմ է կերպել է համար։ Հիսուսի հետ։ So his his heart has totally changed. And so he's reaching out. So from the very beginning, Jesus finds him with a certain skill set. And he, he has a logical mind. He's got education. However, he probably has an interesting past already. բայց նաև ինքը ունի հետաքրքիր անցյալ։ Ունի մեծ տուն և կարող մեծ խնջույթ կազմը կերպի, ուրեմ են աղկատ չի։ Ձակյոսի նման մակսապետ չէ։ Բայց ամեն դեպքուն բարցր մակարդակի, ինքն էլ բարցր մակարդակի հարկավակ է։ Այս ինչպես գիտենք պարիսեցները և սկուրիշ մատիկ, իրեն նայում էին որպես մեծ մեղավոր, մեծ մեղավոր, մեծ մեղավոր են, մեծ մեղավոր են, that Jesus goes to this house and is talking with this man and his friends. Now, it is interesting when you get all of the twelve together. Matthew is the guy that knows about money. But he doesn't wind up being the treasurer for the apostles. Սարկի Այս մաթևոսը են տղեն, որ թողի այդ գործ ուներ, ի վերջով ինքը չի լինում են մարդը, որ կսակի վրայա, կսակի պատասխանությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությու Any other things that you know about Matthew? He's a known sinner. He's got education. Janus was my lover. Only good to soon. And he makes a radical decision to follow Jesus. Now his call is recorded in not just his gospel, but in Luke's as well. Now the call of each of the twelve, the first call of each of the twelve is not recorded in the gospels. Well, mostly we have information about the four fishermen and the And the other seven, it just says he went on the mountain, he prayed, and he called him twelve. So 
it's interesting that I Matthew, who ends up writing one of the Gospels, his call is included in the other Gospels. Matthewaso, Iver to Guru, Ida Vetarana, Narak Ancha, Giri Arnavats, Munatsat Avataran Nero. And some church legends, uh, traditions say that Matthew was a missionary and was killed in India. Goroshaki, uh, Legend Neri, Kiratsakan Osman, or Matevos, a missionary, yes, small woman and Castan. At the very least, we know that he was a missionary, and in, there, there are Matthew legends in many parts of the world where there are Christians. I'm an actually thankful. In commissioner, you have Ashkari shot the Gare Matevos, you must in Legend, Legend Nerica. Does, does Armenia have an Andrew legend? Andrew? Uh -huh. uh, Andrea, she had Kappa's legend, Kaha Aston. Uh -huh. Which which two? Uh -huh. And Thaddeus. Okay. Mm -hmm. The reason I ask is mm -hmm. most uh, most countries to the west of you that border the Black Sea. And Manasas Yerkenera Bormes needs Arif Mutken for Sevtsovi. Have an apostle Andrew Legend. Andrea Sarakel had Kafas legend on it. Ukraine has one. Ukraine and Uni. Turkey has one. Who can? Bulgaria has one. Bulgaria and Uni. Almost any country that borders the Black Sea has an Andrew legend. And yet, but never for Seth's of the Seth's of his son. Andrea C had Kafas legend. Different areas have different apostles. Tarbell, Tarats Nere, Tarbell legend. There is a church. Uh, Tradition, an ancient one that says that the apostles decided who would go where. Yeah, and they uh, divided up the known world and some went someplace and some went over. Especially Alan Twitka or Rakel Nere Havak Felen, that in Angelman Kosh for a Bosch and Ellen Voroshman Kat, several make a vote back by Kagan. Okay, when we come to Mark, Never Gallis and Mark was saying. At the same time that we find documents saying Matthew wrote Matthew, we find documents saying Mark wrote Mark. And Nui Jamanakel could no man pass that Terborosum and Matavos Grel and Matavos, and Nui Jamanakel could no man pass that Terasum or Marcos Grel and Marcosi talk them. And you have this interesting um, witness to Mark's writing of the Gospel. When I can say that a kid will guide soon. And you have to, there was John the Apostle, uh, who had a disciple, uh, and John's disciple had a disciple. So John, John's disciple, John's disciple, John's disciple, John's disciple, John's disciple, John's disciple, we find the words of this third man. The disciple of John's disciple. So, yeah. Uh -huh. Apostle John, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we have John. We have John's disciple. We have this guy's disciple. Okay. You're John. You're John's disciple. He's John. Got it? Okay. And David wrote. That he heard from John's disciple. Going to the cell, how many years ago? It's in Charles. How many years? So you heard from him. I'm sorry. Yes, you heard from him what John said about Mark. Since can yes, the cell has this tension. How many years? Mark was him. So it is from the third person. But this is what he said that you said that John said. Yes, I'll swim to inches. I'll swim to inches. I was going to make chess. He had our scenery shock time. But all of this has happened. But as I mentioned, the real net said, John lived until about 90 AD. Hovanes, Opel, Minchev, Innocent Tiva. He's writing in 125 AD. Yes, Guruman, Hark Sun Hink Tibacani. So 30 years, 35 has passed. Since John said so, what did John say about Mark? He said, John, he said, Mark was not an eyewitness. 
մարկոսը հիսուսի կյանքի ականատեսը չեր because you know you had the 12 the kind of snake you had the 72 you had the one on people that actually followed Jesus around and saw and when I take off care of and he's saying Mark was not one of those and he thinks that's not what Mark was the dance is make a chair but he says that Mark was trained by Peter but that's not what Mark was Mark was a Petros he called me second but yeah we in Peter's Uh, epistles we see verification of this petrosi petrosi tkhterum menk test menk sra hastatum cuz peter calls mark his son in the ministry roeta petros markosi navanum e ir tsaraitsyan vortin just like paul called timothy his son in the ministry and so pogosne timotheosi navanum e tsaraitsyan mech ir vortin mark spent a lot of time and markos to shat jamanak e antskatsel petrosi het And John also said he Mark wasn't an eyewitness but he spent a lot of time with an eyewitness Peter. Հովանես ասում է ու չնա այած Մարկոս ականատես չէ, ականատես Պետրոսի հետ շատ ժամանակ է անցկացրել։ And then he wrote down the words that he wrote down այն խոսքերը որ Պետրոսը ասել է իրեն։ So Mark collected the memories of Peter. Այսինքն Մարկոսը վերցրել է Պետրոսի հիշողություններից։ That's why the Greek in Mark is better than the Greek in the epistles or the, the letters of Peter. Ահա թե Մարկոսի ավետարանում հունարեն է ինչու ավելի լավ քան Պետրոսի թղթերի հունարենը։ In the original the worst Greek in the New Testament as far as grammatically and and Ամենը վատ հունարենը նոր կտակարանում are the two epistles of Peter. Եր Պետրոսի երկու թղթերն ունեն։ The best Greek in the New Testament are the letters of Paul. Ամենա լավ հունարենը Պողոսի թղթերն է։ And in third place is the Greek of Luke's gospel. Եվ երրորդ տեղում Հուկասի ավետարանը։ So Mark is is writing down according to John Mark wrote down the things that Peter said Jesus had said and about the events that happened. Ինքն Մարկոսը գրել է այն բաները որ Հիսուսը որ Պետրոս իրեն ասել է այն իրադարձությունների մասին որ տեղ են ունեցել։ And John also added but He wrote it down in in Greek so that more people could understand it and so that more people Hovanes could hear it. Հովանեսը նաև ավելացնում է, որ ինքը գրել է հունարենով, որ ավելի շատ մարդիկ կարող անեն հասկանալ։ The literal word that you use it says that Mark was Peter's interpreter. Ամենը կարող ենք հասել, որ Մարկոսը Պետրոսի թարգմանիչն է։ Like I'm the teacher, he's the interpreter. Ինչու՞ հիմա ես դա ասեմ տալիս, նա էլ թարգմանում է։ But his job is to make it understandable for you. Sim gorza zer amar haskanali darsnelna. Okay. And then he adds the last comment. Heto verchin mek mekna bantsun avlasni. But John told his disciple who told the third person. Hovanas ir ashakertin asets. Everything Mark wrote down is reliable. Avornel heto ink asets miusin ayn vor amen inch Markos grele vstahelia. So through a person we have an ancient testimony that mark wrote the gospel of mark and this we make hin darerits vkayetsun vor markos negrel ais avetarana yeah if if this is true yes has such ishta inch yes yan tadrum en vor ishta mark writes down what he was told by peter et mark markos gri arnum ayn inch petrosi kovnits e arel what do you know about peter inch gitank petrosi masin Peter was very quiet. Not to say more. Sit and think. I'm sitting there. Introvert. Introvert. It's a mystery, my dear. Yeah. And the gospel is they're not presenting him like that. Uh huh. Okay. He he's the guy that acts and then thinks. Think that and then Martha or Gordon or Norman or my dear. He's a person of action. Gordon Martha. Huh. What do we have in the Gospel of Mark? Ինչ ունենք Մարկոսի ավետարանում? Immediately, immediately, immediately. Ինչ կամ ես, ինչ կամ ես, ինչ կամ ես, էս տեղ ունեցավ, էս տեղ ունեցավ, այն տեղ ունեցավ. So I think you see a reflection of Peter's personality yes, even in the form of Mark's Gospel. Որ մենք տեսնում ենք Պետրոսի անհատականության արտացոլումը նույնիսկ Մարկոսի ավետարանի մեջ։ But once again, Peter had grown him. up in a Jewish context. Պետրոսում այդ ազ մեծացել է հրեական կոնտեքստում։ He didn't study with a rabbi like Paul did. Rabbi had չեր սովորել ոնց որ Պողոսը։ But all the little Jewish boys at the synagogue 
had language class and had Bible class. Pēc bolurta vanera. At least 12 years old. Uh, un ein lesvī dāser, ja un ein āstots ašin šī dāser, viņš ap tās neku tārē kāna. And in those classes, they had to learn to hear and memorize. Hear and memorize. So, and lesel angirana, lesel angirana. And so, you see that in Mark's gospel. Once again, uh, the many of the same early church fathers that said Matthew wrote Matthew said that Mark wrote Mark. And he got that guarantee. Um, now it's in hide it for Arsenal and. And most of these guys were writing within uh, a little over a hundred years of when Mark's gospel was written. And for the most part, the, the, the church fathers of the second and third century when they're talking about who wrote the Gospels, they're repeating a tradition that has been, that is, they're repeating what has been said for the last hundred years. That's one reason why those early church fathers, remember we said, there's a lot of New Testament quotes in their writings. Yeah, they should make they're trying to remind people of what the church has always believed. So what do we know about Mark? Um, let's see, let's read uh, Mark 14, 14, 15. Acts 1, Jesus tells him to go look for this. Uh, tell tell the owner of this uh, room that he, he needs it. This room is in Jerusalem. Some many biblical scholars think that room belonged to Mark and his family. Now, it doesn't say that in the text. But in the next text, we'll see that Mark and his mother lived in, Jer in Jerusalem and that the church met at her house. So Okay, this is where they're meeting before the day of Pentecost. Um, later on, we'll see him in uh, that in a in a room as well there in Jerusalem. Uh, uh -huh. Let's go to uh, Matthew uh, Acts twelve twelve. So what have we seen? They met in a room in Jerusalem for the Lord's Supper. They were meeting in a room before the day of Pentecost in Jerusalem. Uh -huh. Okay, so they're meeting, where are they meeting in this verse? Mark's mother's house. Mark's house, yeah. 
Now, it seems like when they're meeting here in 1212, this is a place they've met before. Yes, Kartsum, Resta, what the Handi Pelen, Alien, Sens, Arachel, and as far as Peter's been in prison. Peter's been in prison. Petros of Bantar Feller. But he knew exactly to what address to go to find people meeting. But Sinka has stuck it at Borhas Tilg, the Nazar as Mark Hans, the place for them in Jerusalem. I think I saw the peak there at Handi Pelly and Samaria. It was a typical place for them to meet in Jerusalem. Yeah, Hannibal's. Some think that maybe this is where they met for meeting right before the day of Pentecost, and maybe even where Jesus did the Lord's Supper. I don't know anything for sure. So what, what do we know from, from Acts 12.12? Mark and his mom were early believers. Marcos knew him might have have had come at him. Twelve, twelve. Although it's in the twelfth chapter, this is not long after the day of Pentecost. So it's a while after, but it's. That's not quite what we look at, but it's Pentecost. It's short, short time. So they were probably some of the first people who were saved. How many can I be? I think Arachin for the whole night. And they were from there in Jerusalem. We also know. Later on, that Mark was some kind of relative of Barnabas. I thought that testament for Marcos Barnabas is very common. Many think that that he was his nephew. Chapter one, that's my word. Is our nickname? The word that's used relating to him really can be translated as male relative of some kind. That's and Barnabas or Doctor Goldsma. Carol, we have heard of Mark Manelov, but he's a guy very common. Who wants to read Mark 1, 51, 52? Marcos, Dasna Chors, he's from Makit, he's from Nerkos, a Tauri Nerk, Hat Vatsa. 14, Sasa, he's in Dasa, he's in Dasa, he's in Dasa, he's it says it. He runs off naked. That detail is only in the Gospel of Mark. So some people think that was Mark. If you were the naked guy, you would remember this event. But it's not an event you would talk to a lot of people about. So Mark lived in Jerusalem. Mark and his family, Mark and his mother, at least, were early believers in Jesus. Given for Marcos, yes, I remember up to Marcos. I have gone in my habitat, habitumain. And Mark was a relative of Barnabas. Yeah, Marcos a Barnabasi Barikamner. And we can find out more after we take our twenty minutes break. Yeah, sound of the Hangistan Alitzeto. Yeah, it's too much information. <laughs>